Hello students, welcome back to the channel. Let's start today's question. So the next question is, a security mirror used in a big showroom has a radius of curvature 5 meter. If a customer is standing at a distance of 20 meter from the cash counter, find the position, nature and size of the image formed in the security mirror. Okay, so here what type of mirror is used? First we have to identify that. Now security mirror is always a convex mirror. Okay, because it has a wider range of view. The mirrors used in hallway mirrors or um, the security mirrors or the rear view mirrors in vehicle, they are all convex mirrors. So let's start. So first let us draw the ray diagram. So this is a convex mirror. This is the principal axis. So this is the center of curvature and this is F, the focus. So here it is given. First what is given here? Radius of curvature is 5 cm. So radius of curvature, sorry, 5 meter. So radius of curvature is 5 meter. Now we know that F is equal to half of radius of curvature. So F will be 5 by 2 meter. Okay. So here we got F. Then what do we have? We have the customer is standing at a distance of 20 meter from the cash counter. Assuming that the cash counter is situated at the pole of the mirror. So let us as if the customer is standing here. So the customer is the object who is standing at a distance of 20 meters. Now as per our sign convention u will be minus 20 meters. Do you know why? Because in order to measure the object distance we have to go towards left from the pole which is opposite to the direction of light. We consider the light rays to be traveling from left to right. So when we have to measure the object distance we have to go against the direction of light that is towards the left. So u will be minus. Now to measure the focal length. Now radius of curvature is to the right. Focal length is to the right. So this focal length is 5 by 2 meter. So to measure the focal length we have to go towards the right from the pole which is in the direction of light. Correct? So that is why f will be plus 5 by 2. Now we have to find out the image. What is the nature, size and position of the image? So for that we have to use the mirror formula. That is we have to write here using mirror formula. First write down the formula. Using mirror formula 1 by f is 1 by v plus 1 by u. We have to find 1 by v is 1 by f minus 1 by u. That is 1 by f is 5 by 2 minus 1 by u. That is 2 by 5 minus what is u? u is minus 20. So it will be plus 1 by 20 which comes to be and say will be 20 8 plus 1 that is 9 by 20. Therefore now 1 by v is 9 by 20. So v will be 20 by 9 that will be 2.2 meter. Okay. So this is the uh, image distance. It's coming as plus 2.2. So that means the image is formed on the right side of the mirror. That is behind the mirror. That is between the pole and the focus. So let us see the nature of the image. Now nature of the image is this is the first part. So nature if we write nature nature is nature of uh, the image formed by a convex mirror is always erect diminished virtual 
okay erect diminished and virtual so this is the nature okay i hope this part is clear this is bit a now come to bit b now bit b says neha visited a dentist in her clinic she observed that the dentist was holding an instrument fitted with a mirror okay so the state the nature of this mirror and the reason for its use in uh, for use in the instrument by the dentist so the mirror is a concave mirror concave mirror so the mirrors used by dentist are concave mirror why it produces an enlarged erect and virtual image image which enables the dentist to our teeth properly no so this is used is a concave mirror this case is the case of the concave mirror producing a virtual image that is when the object lies between the center of curvature and focus here so at that point the image this is the here so this is the case where the concave mirror produces a magnified virtual and erect image so if the teeth is kept between the focus and pole of the concave mirror then it will produce a virtual enlarged and erect image of the object that is our teeth so this will enable the doctor to see the magnified view of our teeth from the behind which would not have been otherwise possible to view from the outside so the dentist use a concave mirror for this purpose i hope this question is clear thanks for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel to keep me motivated thank you